What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different. Have some fun and be yourself guys. But pretty much right now, um, I've just been listening to music, uploading the previous video that I've been working on. And uh, it's been a while since I recorded something and this is not my actual hair. It's just like a wig. It's like I, my hair looks really bad right now. But um, it is what it is, you know. So pretty much... Uh, I dropped Mariposa on SoundCloud, um, a while ago, and then it, it stream it got a lot of streams on SoundCloud, so I was like, why not see if I can get it on every single platform, so that's what I did, and now Mariposa is on every single platform, but it, the, like, what it's streaming most on is Spotify because I'm pretty sure Spotify is like the most streamed platform. And so this is my Spotify profile. We have Jam Jam the Viking, Mariposa, latest release, March 27th. And uh, it's, it's actually looking amazing, the profile. And uh, yeah, so go check it out. I might leave a dis like a link in the description to so go check out my Spotify account. And uh, yeah, so there is a lot of stuff in the works behind the scenes of music that I've been creating. So if you guys have been on the channel for a bit now, um, I started creating music in 2017 with a couple of songs here and there. Um, and they were and they were just kind of a test thing. They were a joke at first kind of a joke but then not um because i saw all these youtubers making songs and i was like why why can't i do it and i didn't realize how hard it was at first and then it was in uh the be the fall of 2019 i was like why why can't i make music again like i was really enjoying music music is a huge part of my life so i turned those five songs that i posted on my youtube channel into a little ep and post it on SoundCloud, and uh, and then I made it on YouTube and turned it into like a little playlist type thing, and then I created a single called UFO later in the year in the fall, and it was probably a very it was a really good song at that point, and then I created an an album called um, I believe Eye to Eye is what it's called, and it's on SoundCloud, it's on YouTube only SoundCloud and YouTube for that matter and um, that's before I had all this Spotify and every single platform and there's no point in uploading that stuff now because we're moving past that and if you if you look at this some of your favorite artists they don't upload the music that they have on SoundCloud of when they started or anything so they just move on with other projects like that so that's pretty much what I'm doing and so Mariposa is my first song on every single platforms but um after i released um I, after i released i after i released eye to eye um i released another ep called um celtic heritage and that ep has the like the most meaning to me so what i'm well, pretty much what I'm doing with that EP is it's also going to be on every single platform just because it has so much meaning behind it and I'll probably explain in another video what the meaning behind Celtic Heritage is but pretty much that was the second EP that I released after um huh what is this oh so wait there's Oh, so, I guess I have, well, that's kind of cool, actually, the more you know, but if I go to my, oh, Celtic Heritage was before, I, I, that's right, that's right, so it was all ears with, um, there are music videos for these, so I had Ooh OK, Vlog Life, They Hatin', The Future 2017 were the songs on all ears, and then after that I released UFO, 
and um, and then it pretty much said, not an album, just a single, give it a listen, more stuff is to come, right? And then I released Celtic Heritage, and this, uh, it honestly has the, sh the so much meaning behind it. And then I released Eye to Eye, which has 17 songs on it, my biggest um, project to this date. And it was honestly amazing, and um, it just won't be released on anything besides SoundCloud and um, and YouTube. But and then I released Rough World after. Um, well, actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but pretty much Rough World is um, in like just a thing to to like towards my favorite rappers that have died it's just saying like x peep and juice because they all died before making it to t like past 21 so i have 21 problems left a mark and too young too soon and the more that i really think about this so i released this on february and it was supposed to be released in um january but I didn't realize this until like a couple days ago. I released this after Pop Smoke died too, and Pop Smoke was only 20 years old, so it's just kind of crazy to think about that. That so many of these young rappers are dying. So I just made a little little EP towards them just to remember them. And then Mariposa is my latest release, and yeah, so. If I go on to show you um, some of the little projects I've been working on. So, if, I, if this works, um, if it loads, who knows if it will. Um, okay. Yeah, it's being slow right now. But, um, there, let's see about, so, um, so there's one song right now on every single platform and then I'm dropping an EP with seven songs and then Celtic Heritage which has five songs so that's another 12 songs and then two remixes of Mariposa so that's all together 14 songs plus Mariposa already so 15 songs you can be expecting so we have Mariposa the single down in Flames, which is the EP that's coming out. It is green and it is ready to be put on every single platform. I got an email that it should be on every single platform very, very soon. So be expecting that. Be refreshing. Spotify, anything that you listen on, and I'll probably tweet something out and post something about it when it drops. But, and then I have Celtic Heritage, which has five songs on it. And then after that, I have Mariposa Remix Feet Little Shrimp. And if you guys saw that my Instagram bio changed uh, to Little Shrimp, it's because I don't know why my little persona right now is Little Shrimp just because it's funny. Because Little and Shrimp mean the same thing. They both mean small. So I just thought it was kind of funny. But, and then, so I have them featuring Little Shrimp on there. Then Mariposa Remix Feet Slingshot. So, there are 14 more songs that you can expect. And then... There will be another big project in June and then a big project in August. So from now you can expect two more projects and then before the first project in June you can expect two singles off there to promote the project. So be be on the lookout for everything like that. But uh, yeah, so I'm about to go listen to music and just pretty much chill. Here we go! Okay, so, um, I, well, I came back from driving to Walmart with my mother just to pick up groceries that we ordered online not too long ago, and John is watching, he's watching Batman downstairs, and so I uploaded the previous video on my YouTube channel, and, um, so I kind of realized that my YouTube channel is kind of looking a bit off now it's the reason is because uh you, if you guys follow your favorite artists on 
um, YouTube and anywhere, actually just YouTube, it, it, it becomes an artist YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is now also an artist YouTube channel. So whenever I post or an album comes out or a single or anything like that, it'll be posted onto my YouTube channel. So having that said, Down in Flames is now on YouTube and it hasn't been on Spotify or any other platform yet, but it is on YouTube. So it has released and I'm really excited because to see what people think and it has gotten pretty, it's like pretty, it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's really good right now. Well, I think it is, but um, anyway, so if you guys remember my song Mariposa and how it has the intro of, so Mariposa is on YouTube and it sounds like, um, it has ads too, which is kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever had ads before. But, um... So, um, if you... Like, I, I like this song a lot. It's probably my best song to this day. And so, if you guys hear the, um, like the little... Here, let me see. Like the little here we go at the beginning, like the Mario type thing. So that's kind of like my thing. And you know how there's like, uh, I guess, Playboy Cardi, his producer, his like biggest, well, I mean, the producer that pretty much produces all his songs is uh, Pierre Bourne. And he has, yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? And that's like his thing for his songs. And then Juice World, he has a couple songs with and Beyond Entertainment. So it's kind of just like a little thing where it's like, you know how in Lucid Dreams and a couple more songs, uh, it's like mostly on his 999 EP, which is on SoundCloud. He has MB on on the mix is the like the iconic thing, especially from Lucid Dreams. So that's pretty much what I'm trying to do with this um, Mario sound effect. So I used it, um, well, on the, of course, on the Mariposa remixes, but... I used it on a song in Down in Flames and I used it on Nine Yards. So that's what we have. And here, let me bring the speaker over here so that I don't have to walk over there. But let me just play it back. Here we go. So it, it sounds different then uh mariposa because mariposa sounds like this Here we go. so it's got like a doo 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 thing and then it they they both sample mario though and then oh i got an ad what are the odds of that um Here we go. and then that's got like a it's pretty much the the second sound effect is uh a sample from I forget what it is, but it's like an old gaming thing. It's like the same sound effect, similar sound effect that you can hear on Six Kiss song uh, by Trippy Red featuring Juice World and YNW Melly. So I kind of just did the, I sampled and I don't know, it's just kind of the thing putting here we go and just, it'll be in a couple songs maybe here and there as like a little, it'll be like maybe like my tag and just it'll be like, an iconic thing when you hear that when you hear that sound effect you're gonna oh like that's a that's gonna be like a banger like and whenever you hear like and beyond on the mix it's like oh that's really good or in well especially um like the the beat drop in uh when it's in uh magnolia when it's like yo pierre you want to come out here and then it's like and then it goes into in New York, I'm really rock, and it's, you know it's going to be a good song. And especially Pierre Bourne makes really good beats. And then when you ever hear Yo Pierre, you want to come out here? It's like it's going to be a good song. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do with uh, the Mario sound effect and the songs we have on here. So we have an intro and an outro. I've never done this before, but it's kind of like a, a project that you have to listen to. Like, I mean, you could pick songs in here and there, but to appreciate the whole project, you have to listen from the intro to the outro. It's kind of like, um, 
I try to do uh, like it's like a, a complete project. It's like it has a um, what would you call it? a meaning behind it, and like it's you know how little Uzi Vert did Eternal Take and like there's skits and everything inside of it, and it progresses through the whole album and it has a meaning behind it. That's pretty much what I try to do with Down in Flames and so that it's the whole thing has meaning behind it. So the first song on here is Home Intro. The second song is Nine Yards. The third song is Ice Cold. The fourth song is Game of Secrets. Mariposa is on here. And that's the fifth song, Broken Bridges is the sixth song and No Contact is the last song. So, like I said, Mariposa was the lead single off of this, and so, uh, yeah, so, it's kind of cool having a, a project out there that will hopefully be on Spotify and every other platform soon, but I'm about to go watch Sweet Life on Dex, so I'll catch you guys later. So... It is now, I don't even know, two weeks later since the last time I actually recorded something. And a lot, like I mean a lot has happened. So pretty much I've been like invested in my music for like the past two weeks and for a long time now since the beginning of 2020. And it has now become kind of my identity and what I am now. and. So pretty much the last time that I recorded something, the only thing that was on my Spotify was Mariposa the single, and Down in Flames came out on um, on YouTube, and I had to rewatch my footage to figure this out because it's been so long. But if I go to my Spotify account, and now you guys can see on YouTube and every single platform now, there has been more than one project mariposa been released on my account so my account we have 44 monthly listeners thank you to everybody that is listening out there i do appreciate you and i still kept mariposa as the uh as my artist pick because that's my first song so i thought I'd, i might as well keep it up there but as you guys can see april 19th the latest release is amnesia Ch chances I don't know why I always say changes, but chances. And then my most popular is Double Trouble, Childhood Memories, Mariposa, Too Young, Too Soon, uh, Nine Yards. And so, uh, I don't know why there's a bit of a glare, but um, I guess from the sun out there. But if I go in order, um, actually, I don't know if I'm going to... So, as you guys can remember, Down in Flames is coming out the last time I talked. So we have intro, uh, home intro, Nine Yards, Ice Cold, Game uh, game of Secrets, Mariposa, uh, Broken Bridges, and No Contact outro. And then the second album I have is called The Last Kingdom, and it represents... Uh, my Viking personality and what it what it means. So I have Yakimus, which is my Viking name. Nightfall, In the Shadows, Merchant Laws, Power Skit, Waves, Ragnar, Battle of Eddington, Eric the Red, Mariposa Remix, and another Mariposa Remix on there. And then we go to the singles. So Mariposa is the all-time classic single on my uh, on anything that I put out there. And then uh, I have an EP which is titled Rough World, and I have it's on SoundCloud as well, and now it is on everything. And I just thought it was, it just represented everything well, and so I thought it's it, it's this it's that and Celtic Heritage are the two projects that I decided to drop on Spotify and every single platform, just because it just represented me very well, and I just thought that it would just be good to post it everywhere just because I really like the project. Not saying that I don't like the other projects, I just thought the other ones are good to have, but I just didn't think they'd be good on every single platform, but I did think Rough World and Celtic Heritage would be good. So we have 21 Problems, Left the Mark, and Too Young Too Soon, and then we have another single called Double Trouble, 
and then we have Celtic Heritage where we have uh, Best Kind, Eyes to Buy, Mozzie Day, where, What Are You At, and Who Knit Ya. Um, and then we have Childhood Memories and uh, this one came out recently and then my new song which is Amnesia Chances and this one came out today and it's already in my most streamed song already. Um, it has around 500 streams already which is kind of crazy because the other ones have around uh, I think Mariposa is my second most streamed song right now it has 200 something and Double Trouble is my most streamed song right now and it has like 300 I think and so it's kind of crazy how Amnesia, uh, Amnesia Chances has the most streamed but um, this might be good news and it actually is kind of good news so I have over 50 songs in my vault right now that are unreleased and so there's one coming out very soon, it's called UFO. I already know I made a song called UFO and it's on SoundCloud. But I decided to make another song called UFO because pretty much UFO means unidentified flying object. And pretty much I'm trying to go up from here. So, but well basically the cover art of it is, is after UFO drops, I'm going to be dropping two sing singles called hopscotch and campfires and so in the ufo beam i hid a uh, campfires image and a hopscotch image in it so that it was like a little ode to it and then those are the two lead singles off my next album and so it should be interesting it's kind of a little hint in there but uh yeah so ufo is the next single and then there will be two more singles than a project and then I don't know what else will happen from there. I know there's going to be another album dropping in August. And then probably a couple singles in July. Then I don't know what else I'll do with the other songs from there. But uh, yeah, so I think John and I are about to go outside. So I'll catch you guys later. So it has probably been at least... I don't even know how long since I recorded the last time now. Maybe a week or two. Um, but it has honestly been like a month since I posted a vlog. And the reason behind all of this, I don't know if I've already explained in the video. But I've been very busy with online school. And it's like, so you go to, it's way different than regular school. Um, and... I just really haven't had the time to record anything because pretty much I've been basically just spending a lot of time with my family and I just, I don't know, I, I wanted to record something, it's just I, I always forget about it and it just really doesn't happen but I have been posting a decent amount of music here and there and they have been getting streams. My most streamed song right now is UFO at... 3,000 and something um, streams, total total streams, and um, it, it has, it's like 3,057 or something like that, and there will be a new album some in June, so I will, I will reveal the new album in my next video, and yes, the next video will come before June, I can tell you that, it'll probably be the video after this, so maybe like, couple days that you can see after this video maybe we'll see maybe I don't know we'll just figure out my schedule and everything like that but it is currently Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to all your mothers out there and uh, yeah so just pretty much stay safe during all of this because it is not good and we're not going back to school anytime soon I know that and so it's just kind of interesting just being stuck in the house pretty much other than like going outside in the driveway to play hockey and stuff like that but it has been cold lately so we haven't really been able to do much other than schoolwork and like the schoolwork situation is way different than going to school because you go to school for like six hours and then like you get home you do a little bit of homework and then that's it right and then you pretty much have like the rest of the night off well that's how my schedule works but during all of this it's like you do like schoolwork for, you have like three hours of schoolwork, well, 
pretty much it's more than three hours but it's like and then you have like so it's like they give you now it's like you have a cpt at every single class and then you have it on top of that you have the work for the day and then you have a google meet in every single class which lasts an hour so it's pretty much like the whole day of work and well pretty much what i well i wake up at 8 30 every day and start work around 9 30 and then i'm like down doing work until like four or something and then i go back during after dinner usually sometimes like that but it's a whole process but anyway it, uh, it's come to the end of the video and um yeah so like next video um i'll be talking about my my upcoming album and it it's like a i have a whole reason behind it and there's like um so pretty much actually i'll explain it in the next video but yeah so i do believe that is going to have to end off today's video so i basically like to thank you guys so much for watching and i do hope you guys enjoyed and if you like to watch another video guys be subscribed to my youtube channel turn on my post notifications and smash that like button Smash. See you guys, Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Don't you love me? Don't you love me?